I'm not the only one grumpy in the Philippines. <laughs> Week seven, day three, and I'm having a day. I'm having a real day. Grumpy in the Philippines. Okay, so today I've got a couple of projects. One is going to be AAC. I am going to install a panel box uh, into a slab of AAC and prep for the pipes going in and out. Uh, so I'll be showing that. Uh, I'm going to do an episode of this old carcass. It fits because I am grumpy as hell today. And this one will fit. Some of you might not want to hear what I have to say. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's get to it guys. One of the issues that we're running into is the speed at which people can do quotes here. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, at the rate we're going, probably by the end of next week, uh, we will want the roof started here. Because that will give the slab and the AAC and all the other work will be under cover. So that's our goal. Oh right, we need to go get some water. <laughs> Welcome back, Tai Tai. <laughs> if you remember last year, uh, we hired this fellow. It was a little bit too hard to work, but today we're going to get him working on keeping the yard clean. Thank you for coming. Today, this foreigner is grumpy as hell. I did not sleep good last night. The, the, the room just got humid and hot. And, <laughs> and of course, I have to have at least a fan running, guys. I do. I just can't not get through the night. Lynn just coasts through all these warm evenings. I can't do it. Anyway, grumpy. Um, but today, we're going to talk about... Yeah, the Entitled West. I'm going to talk about the Entitled West. Get over it. Whining and complaining about this and that and a hundred other things. And yeah, you might not like your government, but hey, there are people on this planet that are just trying to get rice and rice only to survive. Uh, last year, Tai Tai Rebecca came to work for us. And we knew quickly that he wasn't going to be able to handle a lot of the work that we want. And we told the crew, you know, we're going to get him to do some really basic stuff here. But the young people started to get pissing in his cornflakes to the point where they actually reported him. And then they went and talked to the barangay captain and then they captain came and talked to us saying, I hear there's some people that aren't pulling their weight. Anyway, out of embarrassment, this fellow quit. We tried to hunt him down. We did find him. We talked to the barangay and said, we understand that he's not getting his pension. Why is that? Now, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not sure if it's different in every province and all of that type of thing, but he does not qualify at the age of 72. Get over yourselves in the West. He doesn't qualify. Why? Because the senior allotment that arrives in this barangay, there are a lot more seniors here. And so they dole out the money accordingly. And the age 72 doesn't fall into where, where she, or he can get his money. You can't buy rice for that price in a month. You can't buy rice. So, you know, this, this is a story not so much of Tai Tai because we have tried to find out why he doesn't get his allotment. Lynn's mom is 69, if I'm not mistaken, and she's been getting it for at least five years, at least. So that's crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. But where she lives, there's almost no seniors because it's all farm country. And so there's no seniors there, none. 
so she easily gets her allotment. But boy, oh boy, guys, if you're living in a Western country, when you come here, take some time to understand the macro of the Philippines, not the micro. There's always pricks out there, always pricks. I'm grumpy in the Philippines today, and I'm a prick today. I do everything I can not to bite the heads off snakes and, and shit down the crew's necks here. But the main thing is take some time to think about the macro before you whine and complain about what's been happening in your Western country. And that feeds into why I keep saying, if you're coming here and you don't budget, Again, I'll say it, I see people going broke here all the time and I have zero sympathy. I have never helped out a Westerner here who has gone broke because nine times out of 10, it was, it was their own doing, right? Their own doing because that 60,000 pesos a month, that's not the kind of guy that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one that has a lot more money than that. Just can't seem to hold it together. Footloose and fancy free. Okay, there we go. This old carcass is over. I'm gonna go have a nap because I am grumpy in the Philippines. This guy, he comes over one day and says, mom, can I have my pay now? And he gets the pay and then he goes over to the store over here and he drinks beer all day long. <laughs> so we're gonna give this guy a shave and a haircut over here. <laughs> Good morning, Lyndon. Boys are cleaning up some bamboo here so that they can make the sifter. We are going to start the skim coating on the hollow block so that we can effectively backfill here. Uh, we've still got too much soil here that has to be dealt with. Too much soil. Um, out front we've got this one set of hollow block done. And this one, you probably knew about that. The front, this is the living room hollow block. It's done now. And then Rosindo is working on the front. Lynn and I have had a couple of discussions now. We're gonna stay with the main theme and that is that we work, or so we work. <laughs> we live outside as much as we do inside. Okay, inside is really just for storms. So this 20 square meters plus hmm, whatever this is, let's say it's about a meter by hmm, probably another five, maybe seven square meters here. Uh, that's the kitchen. And uh, so that's what this plumbing is for. And that electrical one with a silly bag on the top, that's got to get cut down. <laughs> that's going to come down anyway in the wind if it doesn't come down by our hand. That's the stack for the breaker panel. Um, Michael and uh, Clarence are putting a line in so they can assure where the hollow block is going to go and their piping. We want to make sure that the toilet and the stack are properly put in there and I can see right now that they're gonna to have to redo that stack again got to make sure the toilet isn't too close to the wall we'll go through all that effort and find out that the toilet is half in the wall <laughs> that would not be cool okay so the guys are doing up mix here for Rosindo to keep the hollow blocking going and I've got to go check we're gonna need more hollow block got to get Lynn to get an estimate on the hollow block. We have enough sand and gravel up the front here for pours for the beams but we need more river sand here for finishing. Uh, let's see here yes so this whole side is ready to go. They've got the, the bottom in they just got to put the sides on and I think that's what they're going to do is we ordered extra phenolic and I think we're just going to do a big pour and get all of that done. Once that's done, the guys can actually start on the roof. 
so they can be here welding, measuring, doing all of that type of stuff, even though that center posty right there, um, it's going to be the last tie beams that we do, and so it's going to uh, be a little while, but that won't interfere with the roofing guys getting all the measurements and such done and all the welding because most of that stuff is done on the ground so the grumpy is the grumpy in, <laughs> so the grumpy in the philippines is working now <laughs> i gotta burn off my energy doing something yeah and he's already sweating yeah <laughs> Okay. Ah, I'm Ah, murag na ato na kuha silang pagtan ng slap pulo. Pagtan ni mo? Bikabra. Bara di kabra. Um, the pray bar. No, the ready ay. Pray bar right there. Datoy. Oh, dera. Pray Okay. Okay. This is not as easy, guys, but. We're gonna see if we can. Aye, aye. aye it's it went sideways. Ah, okay. You went down. You went downward. Oh. oh. Okay. Let's see if we can swap blades. Ah, okay. We'll ah, that one is longer. Ra, mana? Mana nak sih bintana? Okay, so that's how we put an electrical panel in without okay. having to spend an hour and a half doing chip 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 chip. Oh. There it is. Kau dah pada at the back. Uh huh, yeah. Kebugai. Of course, my workshop is also the. The kitchen. kitchen. It's our temporary kitchen. Abuga. Lagi. It's mintum good. Dara. Did it fit? Hey. Does it fit? <laughs> does it fit? <laughs> this guy's been doing enough construction that he doesn't. And then people you wonder why I'm you grumpy. scared him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a bigger, as they say. Lagi <laughs> por mana? There we go. Yay! And that's how it'll look. Yeah, but on the other side, we will just put well something. Here's, here's the next stage that we do here. We take this out, and then. Okay. Yes, this is the panel board. I'll come up on that bench line so you have ah. Okay. There we go. And then when the panel sits in there, from the back side, all these holes oh, are yeah. exposed. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you when everything is finalized. Talk to you a little bit later. Grumpy Grump. in the Philippines. <laughs> I'm having a pissy day.
<laughs> okay, go away. Okay. <laughs> okay, naglungag kog saging. Okay, tunggo yun lagi ta. Tara! Nagbukal na akong saging. Nagdakog do. Yeah, I got this plantain for my mom in her farm. It was full and it was still green like last Sunday. And then this one was also a bunch. And then it ripe, the whole bunch was ripe this morning. And so I thought I'm the only one who is a monkey eating bananas here. But my workers are also, you know, <laughs> like me, they are unguyun. <laughs> they love to eat bananas. Here in the Philippines, we called, like, we say that ma only monkey eat bananas. It's just a saying. It's just for fun. It's not, you know, no seriousness about it. But kanisya gagmay kanisya nga. They call this banana, and well, banana in other countries. And then this one they call it plantain. But here in the Philippines, both of these we call them bananas. Tundan, kardaba, kardaba, tundan. <laughs> okay, so I had to do a small modification. I put a slice through there. I realize that the integrity, if I cut up to here, it's not going to be strong enough there, guys. So for this block and this block only, I'll do this. But all the other ones, because I won't be cutting this big section out, I'll just cut up and over and out. So that will work just fine. And that is all inside where the fridge is going to be, so nobody will even see it. There we go. Besides, that's where the broom and everything usually hides, right? You know... It's tall enough. I could put a hangman's noose there and just drop them one day, guys. I could just drop them. I don't think the other guys would say anything. <laughs> okay, so on the house side, obviously we still have to put in the hollow block for the deck. Um, but they've got all that hollow block. Yep, yeah, right to level. Good. So now you know the grade. And way down here, that's grass level. We got Tai Tai Rebecca here. Get all this grass cleaned up and we can start manicuring for our front yard. Things like putting the large anapog along the edge and stuff like that. We aren't gonna get them, get them heavy duty work, but everybody understands here if you get after this guy, I'm gonna get after you because I'm grumpy in the Philippines. <laughs> I'm not gonna put up with it today. I'm really just not going to. Oh, that's taking shape, guys. Really taking shape. It's nice when you kind of hit milestones in your build, you feel like you're starting to accomplish things and then you go through these periods of, yeah, not so much, not so much. Okay, I think the one fellow thought that they were going to be doing um, mortar for the hollow block, and <laughs> so he tossed some water in there. Nope, it's time to do the do the pores, so that means having to get the stone in there as well. Anyway, so the one is uh, for the tie beam, and the other one that James is standing beside right now, that one is for Rosindo to keep going on the hollow block. You never know that God, don't even see signs of the storm that went over here. It's like 20 minutes ago it went over. That is quite a system that's building there. Quite a system. Whew. Anyway, from behind us, it's backing up. That's been slowly, steadily sinking and coming right down to the water, but it's moving north. Uh, west anyway, but what's behind us is backing up, <laughs> so we're about to get rain. 
Later, Gators.